Hello, whiskey lovers. Okay, here we are in the third week of September, and as promised, I thought we'd do a couple of cocktails with the pre-prohibition rye bourbon. Um, okay, so I've decided on an old-fashioned and a mint julep, simply because I have those ingredients around the house. All right, so we'll start with the um, mint julep. So, we'll get some sugar and water, or we can cheat and get some sugar syrup. So I want probably a cap full of that. Mint from the garden. I'm gonna make mine, even though it only calls for about eight because extra minty because I love mint. And then we model it into the sugar syrup. Get all that tasty minty goodness out. Now, it was usually called for crushed ice and packaging in the glass. Unfortunately, the only ice I currently have are from a brain ice cube thing. And I've tried crushing it and well, it's a bit bulky and proven a bit resistive and we'll just pretend. All that matters is the taste. And we had about 60 mils of a bourbon. So probably glad it actually came with a screw top because I know these are about, screw tops tend to be about five, 10, 15. So four of these should be 60 mils because each rotation is five mils. So when measuring from a screw cap, yep, yeah, each rotation is supposed to be about five mil, represents five mils. So if there's three, that's 15 mils. So a mint julep. Ooh, smells minty. Mm. I'm gonna say I've had a couple of mint juleps from um, uh, bourbons. I've had a couple from Scotches. I'm sure I tried one on this channel. I can't remember what whiskey I had with it. But I have to say the rye. The rye pairs surprisingly well with the um, the mint. Um, I've put extra mint in. It's not, the mint itself is not overly powering. I can definitely taste the rye whiskey, but I can also now taste the mint. It's pairing very nicely. Um, yeah. Mmm. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to admit I am cheating a little bit for the old fashioned. So the old fashioned again also calls for um, uh, water, a bit of um, sugar, and Amaretta's bitters. I already have an old fashioned syrup. So, nice big cap full of that into a glass of ice. 60 mils of Right. And I didn't bring my swizzle or up or my spoon, but I'm just gonna give it a shake. And I don't actually have an orange slice to sort of garnish with. But again, I'm only going for the taste. And mm. So I chose in the old fashioned because old fashions are typically done traditionally with a bourbon because it is an American drink. Um, both of these, I believe, are Southern drinks. And since this was, I think, I recall, yep, Kentucky, it fits. Um, and I often think of, uh, well, mint juleps, I either think of Great Gatsby, <laughs> surprisingly enough, or um, men like Colonel Sanders, you know, the Colonel Sanders white suit. I do declare. <laughs> and I will never attempt another Southern American accent again. Okay, let's try this. Hmm. Okay, um, yeah, definitely an old fashioned. Um, I can't taste the rye as much as I can in the mint julep, so it's not as overly powering. Um, but all in all, fantastic. 
Okay, yeah, so I've got the mint julep. I've got the old fashioned. I'm probably gonna say the mint julep is one of my favorite because it does have the mint. Um, I love mint. But they're both pretty good. Um, yeah, so this, yeah, this pre prohibition right is a great cocktail mix. Um, I might try some more next week. I don't know yet. Um, oh yeah, I don't know what I'm doing yet. Um, next week's also Mel and I's uh, 15th wedding anniversary. So I'm going to get out there and give her an early um, happy anniversary. Um, I don't know if your gift will arrive before then, but I have not forgotten. <laughs> I'll never forget. Um, yeah. Okay, um, so until next week, Sunday.